I'm Nathan Judo. I'm here with Mr. Wolves reporter. It's Tim Spears himself. Tim, I feel like it's been going on for months, this story, but finally Wolves have got their man. Yeah, weeks. Weeks. It's been weeks. weeks. It's been a long time. Yeah, really. It's been a long time coming. Patricio. Wow. The Portugal goalkeeper. Wow. 70 um, times capped Portugal goalkeeper. 70, including including the 3 3 draw against Espana. Yeah, mm -hmm. <laughs> in the FIFA World Cup. In rubbish, let him three. <laughs> <laughs> uh, quite the coup. Yeah, it's very you'd much say. so. Yeah. Um, massive sign in, I think. Uh, as you say, many weeks in the making. Yep. It's not without its complexities, and we'll, that will continue to be the case. But right. The bottom line is they've landed him, he's theirs, four year deal. <laughs> Uh, not, not, it's not great for John Ruddy, but everyone else, no. is, everyone else is, is quite <laughs> pleased about it. Celebrating. I mean, well, let's go into uh, the crux of what, what is the deal. I mean, Wolves apparently reported that they were happy to pay £18 million at the start of all these negotiations. He's now on a, a free transfer. They could play compensation. Where, where's, where does the land lie at the moment? I mean, Sporting is a, is a car crash. <laughs> it's a car crash, yes. It's a 10-car ten, ten <laughs> pile up on the M6. <laughs> it's nine of their players have now resigned. Have been shunted. They were uh, attacked mm. by uh, their own fans at the training ground after they failed to qualify for Champions League. Never great. It's like uh, it's like the Subway Army heading to Compton after <laughs> if Wolves don't make the playoffs. It's that kind of thing. Anyway, and they, yeah, one of the players was injured. It was all yeah. horrendous. So nine of them have resigned their contracts, and the sporting president, who comes across as a bit of a character, yeah. has turned around and said, "No, you can't do that. You know, we want money for you all." And Sporting have released a statement today mm -hmm. saying they expect to be reimbursed. All these players that have now resigned, including four Portuguese internationals that mm -hmm. are out of the World mm -hmm. Cup, leaving the club for free, signing for other clubs, sporting is saying no, you know, this could threaten our very future, they say, and they want money. Yeah. As well they might. So so, so it's gonna run and run. They've they've bought themselves out of contracts. I mean is that something that you can you can do anyone can do these days? Well it depends on the issue, doesn't it? Because if the, you can't you can't just resign and leave a club and leave your contract. But if there's something in their in their contracts that says, you know, if I get if I get bonked on the head at the training <laughs> ground by one of our angry fans, <laughs> I can leave for free. So it depends on their contracts, doesn't it? They've had a couple um, of a couple of a couple of skirmishes in the newsroom to be fair. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, touche. So um, eighty quid and I'm off. <laughs> it, dep it, dep it depends it depends what's in the contracts yeah. as to whether they can legitimately do this or not but Sporting seem to suggest that no they can't and they expect money they expect to be reimbursed by the players and by the clubs that they end up joining so right. I'm talking obviously specifically about Wolves here um, they um, they say yeah they, they say that, that these nine players that are worth a hell of a lot of money mm. them leaving for free just can't happen you mm -hmm. know just threatens the future of the club um, it's expected that such terminations will result in a sharp decrease in personal expenses uh, in addition Sporting say today the board of directors consider the contractual terminations by the players to be illegal so the club will seek to hold these players and the clubs which which they sign um, with the expectation of being accordingly reimbursed they say now for Wolves' part they've done nothing wrong um, by signing, can't be by recalled. signing him they, they've definitely got him 100% they are him. speaking to people at the club they are 100% confident that this is legally sound for right. them to sign Rui Patricio okay. but what they do expect is to possibly have to pay compensation sure. for the player but it won't be anywhere near the 18 million that was mm. being banned around a few weeks ago that we, we all expect. Yeah. Uh, it'll go to a tribunal potentially and FIFA will decide if Wolves have to pay and then a tribunal will decide how much. I think that's how it's gonna work. So, but Wolves are, Wolves are confident with, with that situation. But if, if, if rumours are to be true and they, they were ready to pay 18 million pounds for him, if he was still in the contract, what a huge bonus to get him for, for a discounted yeah. price. I mean, well, this is a Portuguese <clears> number one. Yeah, you look at James Madison uh, leaving Norwich today for about 20 odd million yeah. quid. And uh, you compare that to this guy who's played 460 times for, for Sporting Lisbon, one of the one of the one of the biggest clubs mm. in Europe, really, mm. and mm. certainly one of the top, obviously one of the top three in Portugal. He's played 70 times for his country. Uh, he won the European Championships. You know, he's the best goalkeeper in Portugal by all accounts. So, 18 million quid for a 30-year-old yeah. is, is is decent value anyway. And that's pretty young to for be a honest. keeper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. He could have ten, 10 years left in him and he signs a four year deal. So that, that 18 million doesn't sound like daft value to mm -hmm. me anyway. So to yeah. get him for free is remarkable. Obviously, they'll be paying his substantial wages and they will have to end up paying a bit of money for him. But as as they've done in the past, we'll look on the face of it, it's got a very good deal. I mean, when they've signed Portuguese players in the past, the likes of your Jotas and your Cavaleros, etc., these players weren't particularly household names, were they? Yeah. 
this is the first time where you're getting not only a household name but one of the best players in the world in his position. That's it. We've seen with we've seen with the additions that they've made this summer. Raul Jimenez, mm. J Jimmy to his Jimmy. mates. Jimmy, Jimmy. Um, Capped 70 times as well, I think, by Mexico. I think they're right. about, well, no, 71 now because he came in against Germany the other day. Mm. But yeah, um, I think that's right. Maybe I got that wrong. Anyway, he's got loads of caps yeah, for Mexico. Loads, loads. So yeah, they've moved it on now. They've stepped onto another level, and I think was this is a sign of things to come this summer. Yeah, um, which is potentially extremely exciting for for, for Wolves. You know, to, to kick on next season, mm. and everyone's talking about mid-table. Mm. And if you're bringing in players of this established quality. Yeah. That have been playing for their countries for many years, playing for Benfica and Sporting, the likes of that. As you say, established names, established first team mm. players with a good few years under their belt. This is, you know, potentially extremely exciting. It does represent a, a change in tack from what we've seen in the last couple of seasons, as you say, bringing in young players and mm. improving them. We've seen with Jota, with Costa, with Cavalero and others. That won't be the case now. They look sure. like they're bringing in more established names that are going to be ready um, for the Premier League. And this plays, I'm sure who are waiting to sign for Wolves or Wolves will sign in the future and, and they look at it now and they see someone like a Patricio headlining yeah. a, a squad and Neves and, and Costa and Jota etc Mason yeah. <laughs> I mean it's an attractive prospect for people who are coming in they're seeing the squad and they go oh well, I want to be a part of this it is I think Rui Patricio Raul Jimenez is, is, is different in the fact that he's been on the bench for, yeah. a, for a couple of years and, but Patricio is different he's, he's plays for one of the um, top 10 countries in the world mm. I think so the reigning European champions he's there undisputed number one so to bring him in on, on such a cheap deal yeah it's, um, it says exactly that to other players mm. um, and I think we'll see many more to come it doesn't look great for the for the guys who've got Wolves to this position. Sure, you've got to say, you know, I, I don't think fans will be be too concerned when they see the At players the moment, coming in. But the likes of John Ruddy, mm. yeah, uh, you'd, you'd say now. I think people like Doherty and Douglas, you'd, you'd be saying, look, when They're Wolves bring in wing backs, it's, sure. it's going to be players that yes. are esteemed to be of a higher quality. Um, people like Ryan Bennett, Danny Bart, Roman Sace. I'd say all these guys would now be pretty nervously mm. looking over their shoulder over who's going to come in for the rest of the summer. That's just the way it goes, though, isn't it? especially goes. when they go Premier League. And if you want to you know, aim, aim high, then they've got to be ruthless about it. I mean, look at Benny Kofobi. Yeah, there's no room for sentiment with Fosun. There never has been and, and there won't be. They're an investment company. They look at the numbers. They look at the profit. They look at the growth. Mm. And you can't argue with it because it's, it's worked very well so far you know there is a there is a risk that it kind of upsets the apple cart and upsets the team spirit that they've garnered and the you know they did play as a team last year i know they had a few stars but they really got that there was a good blend wasn't there excellent blend in the way that they played and, and the way that they were on and off the field mm -hmm. so you, you do risk that because <clears throat> you bring in a massive high earner like patricio yeah. suddenly everyone else will now want to be on on the wages that he's on for yeah, a start yeah. um and but but that's that's the um, that's the natural price of success, and that they they want to grow and mm. they want to become a top ten Premier League team. So, if you're going to do it with the current players that you've got, it might take a little while um, because they're all young and improving. But if you're going to bring in established names, the theory is you get there quicker. But you mentioned him, John Ruddy. I mean, decent season. Okay, yeah. had a couple of errors, but made the Championship team of the year. And now, what is potentially looking at when's the Carabao Cup draw? Yeah, if he stays. You know, if, well, if, if he stays, exactly. If he stays, I mean, when he joined last summer, he said he rejected Premier League clubs to join mm -hmm. Wolves, primarily on the basis that he didn't want to sit on the bench, especially the age that he is. I think he's 31. He doesn't want to be sat on. He doesn't want to be sat on the bench. He wants to be playing no. football. But whether he now want to drop down to Championship again, I don't know because it's tough. I'm not sure. I'm not really. You can't really identify a Premier League club that would say, "Look, we want John Ruddy as our number mm -hmm. one." I'm not sure mm -hmm. really. So mm -hmm. he may have to drop down to Championship for regular football again. Would he be happy to do that? I don't know. Then, but then you look at Patricio. Yeah. If he gets injured on August the first, then well, you know, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Ruddy's, Ruddy's yeah. got the jersey again, so it's a difficult one for him. Play well, second number two. He's a, he's a good number two. I mean, goodness me. I mean, that, that's a cracking number two. Per perfect, I think. Yeah. And I think it'd be great to get Will Norris out. And loan. They've got Harry Bergoyne out mm. to Plymouth for the season. I think really, really helpful for Will Norris to spend a season in the Championship since he didn't really play last year either. So with Ruddy, Ruddy and Patricio, that, that's your goalkeeping department mm. done for mm. me. Mm. But whether Ruddy wants to stay remains to be seen. And, and that's the case, isn't it, with a lot of these players that they're going to be bringing, like you say, the wing backs a chance, your, do, your, 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 your Doherty's and, and, and your, your know, Douglas's, is that you could risk losing those players because they might want to play somewhere else and they're probably going to get offers. Potentially, I think the two you mentioned there would want to stay regardless. But yeah, I think fans will probably look at it and say, oh yeah, we'd be happy with Barry Douglas in our team or Matt Doherty in our team next year. But you know, they need they need a backup player. Mm. Wolves aren't perhaps looking at it like that. I think they're going to bring in top, top players in every position with every signing they make. 
mm-hmm. most signings they make this summer. Um, and then it's up to the likes of Doherty and Douglas to, if they want to be squad players. But I think, you know, it's just not going to be the same eleven for every game. Sure. Year. These guys should should, uh, should stick it out. This is this is this is their dream to be in the Premier League. Yeah, absolutely, and back the vulnerability. I'm sure they will yeah. do. Saying that, I mean, Wolves still linked with players leaving. I mean, I know you, you poo-pooed it yesterday with, with Cavalero, but is there any room, is there anything behind that at all? Or no. nothing at all? No. Nothing at all? Poo-pooed it yesterday. <laughs> no, no, I'm just... Uh, but I mean, uh, you know, it's been no, no, like plenty places. It has, bizarrely, yeah. Uh, it's a strange one. I, I gather Huddersfield asked, asked a question. Can you say poo-poo? Uh, you've done it three times now, I think, okay. so yeah. Um, I gather Huddersfield asked a question right. or inquired about his availability and, yeah. and we're told... Um, where to go? So and it got no further than that. So where are all these stories come from? Saying he's, he's joining for twelve million. I don't know, but yeah. no, there's there's nothing in it as it stands, for, as far as I'm aware. Okay, um, and the recruitment and that would be a weird one. You you want to keep him, I think. Yeah, of course, oh, absolutely. I mean, the recruitment drive, I assume, is in full force. But the same World Cup, the San Patricia in the middle of the World Cup, which is which yeah. is quite crazy. Um, but you'd have to wait. You think for a couple of weeks, two or three more weeks before before we start seeing some more players? It's all quite elsewhere at the moment. There's not, nothing else. There's nothing that they're on the verge of doing as far as I'm aware. So yeah, potentially you might have to wait a few more weeks now. Um, but they're in, they're in a good they're in a good position, you know. They've got they've got the they've got the goalkeeper in. Mm. They've got a striker in. Um, yeah. they've signed Bolly, they've signed Jota. The squad looks pretty good on paper and we know they don't want a big squad either. That's that should right. be stated for next season, you know. There are certain positions that they definitely need strength and they definitely need a central midfielder mm-hmm. now that Jai is not around. They definitely need wing backs. Um, and I imagine they'll be looking at centre half as well and probably another forward. So it's gonna be a busy few weeks, but we know that the market is really gonna absolutely kick off yes. um, between the end of the World Cup and the and the end of the transfer window, which is pretty early in August. And they're gonna be losing some more players as well. They'll be losing a lot of players. Yeah, a lot of players that fans perhaps aren't really thinking about. People like Dominic Iorfa, mm. who's now he's a Wolves player again. You know, Ben, yeah. ben Marshall, mm-hmm. um, Jordan Graham, Jordan Graham. We know Joe Mace is still out on loan. Miranda, Miranda would be one I'd expect to move on as well. Um, then they'll be looking to get the likes of Conor Roan now on loan again. Mm-hmm. There's there's a lot of players around the fringes who. Of course, uh, I mean, you don't know. Courtney Hawes, Ethan Eubanks, Landell was out on loan last season. Yeah. You know, these players will all be moving out on lo- either on loan again or, or permanently. There's a lot of work to be done. Sure, absolutely. Um, so we're going to see Wolves' new player in action then, Mr. Patricio. We'll see him tomorrow. Oh, for Portugal. Yes. 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 Uh, Portugal against play his Wolves against Roman Saces, Morocco. Yeah. And one o'clock kickoff. Iran. As well, really okay. Uh, so yeah, I think well, ju- judging on um, judging on their performance against Spain, you expect Portugal to have a decent run in the competition. Mm-hmm. So yeah, we could be seeing him in action over the next few weeks. Excellent. And then for Wolves, whenever, whenevs, I don't know. He'll get an extended break after the end of the World Cup, so yeah. he won't be back for the start of pre-season. Maybe linking up, maybe in Switzerland or after that. You think probably in England? Probably after, probably after Switzerland. Germany, yeah. Germany. Yeah. Okay, sounds good. Uh, Ruben Patricia is a Wolves player. You can read Mr. Tim Spears' comment piece, very good one. She's gone online today. For all the latest Wolves news, make sure you log on to expressthestar.com.